got to know Thomas L. Brown uh, le this past spring when he came and painted the mural that celebrated Cars Beach at our site here in uh, West Street, Annapolis. But uh, Thomas L. Brown has done, he, he is a recognized uh, muralist here in Annapolis in the region and I think across in the United States now. He has painted pictures of uh, George Floyd, he painted pictures of Breonna, Breonna Taylor, and uh, of course, uh, Cars Beach, uh, the mural here in Annapolis. And he's also been doing more and more projects uh, further and further afield. So he, he's becoming recognized, well known, as a muralist throughout the area. And we've been blessed to be able to have him work with us this past year and just to see how he worked. That's what, what I found very interesting about him. Uh, he was able to, first of all, like with Cars Beach, that's a, a, that was a community here in Annapolis, actually a destination here in Annapolis during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, uh, for the black community to be able to have entertainment. And it was just a few miles down the road here in Annapolis. And for every year, every, every weekend, for just about that whole period, people would be coming in and, and, so, and having a great time. They had uh, gambling and they had, because gambling used to be legal here, uh, they had music, they had uh, entertainment, they had food, and, and the black community, most of the black community had a great place to go uh, here, here, right here in Annapolis. In 1974, it shut down because of lack of, of demand for, on the one hand, and I think probably financial issues on the other, and, and the whole issue of Cars Beach sort of went away. But that was unfortunate because just about every big black act in the world came to Cars Beach at one point or the other. We had Smokey Robinson, there was uh, Jim Brown, we had uh, The Temptations, we had Patti LaBelle. I mean, just on and on and on. That list was just fabulous, what you could see. Uh, Sam Cooke, he would come to uh, others. So, and that all disappeared for years and years. By Thomas Stills' work, we were able to bring that back. And, and he did the research, he did the, uh, went online to find out more he could do, what he could find out about Cars Beach, checked with the families, learned about that, and he was able to, learning the history, he was able to then translate that into, into this mural that he then painted at, at uh, our site. He richly deserves this award because he, he's not just the artist, he's not just going in and painting a picture. He's doing the storytelling, he, he's relating the history, he's involving the community, and every picture, is, it's not two-dimensional picture, it's really that three or multi-dimensional picture that he's creating. And he makes himself so accessible to everybody around him. It doesn't matter whether you're the, the governor of Maryland or, or a child in fourth grade, he will treat them equally uh, as, and, and talk to them about the story and, and get them involved in what he's trying to do. So I think he has actually had a very positive impact on Annapolis, and I can talk personally the impact he's had on MC3 and the people and the involvement and the excitement and the energy around MC3, a lot of because what he's able to do for us. Congratulations, Thomas L. Brown, for winning the Annie Award for Visual Arts.